We're at Rothamsted, which is an agricultural research station located just north of London. And today we're going to be visiting Dr. Angela Karp, who is director of the Centre for Bioenergy and Climate Change. And she is a UK expert on the use of biofuels. So Andrew, the work that, that your group now um, undertakes here at Rothamsted, can you just outline what that involves and the kind of areas that you're looking at? Yeah, so what our group essentially is trying to do is to look at how we can use woody crops, non-food crops, foods that aren't used for normal agricultural products, to go into the liquid transport industry. You can create biofuels from food mm. crops, and in some ways it's, a, it's an easier step in terms yeah. of just fermenting the sugars to produce ethanol. But there's obviously a, a problem with doing that, isn't there? Yeah, that's right, because these woody plants don't store their sugars in an easy form. They don't store them in, in starch or sugar. It's locked up in the cell wall. It's a structural and, component. And the cell wall is a very complicated material, isn't Extremely. it? If you say just cell wall, it sounds as though it's just like a brick wall, something very simple, but it's much more no. complicated than that. Imagine more, uh, if you like, a, a fence made of wire netting, except you don't have one wire. You have five or six different types of wire, all interlaced, and those wires are locked together. So some of them you can't tease apart from one another very easily because they're locked together by careful bonding. And the whole idea is to give the plant yes, strength so, it, so right. it's able to remain strength upright. and resistance. The cell wall is, is actually a very clever structure, but for us it's difficult because it means that we have a complex series of fibres which are all kind of interlaced and locked together. And in order to get the, the one fibre we want, we have to be able to unlock them and then release just those fibres out of the cell wall. And it's the sugars. And the sugars are in what's called a cellulose or hemicellulose component of the cell wall. And the other components are the lignin I talked about before, very high calorific value. That means it's got lots of, lots of energy. Lots of energy. So lignin as a polymer is higher than coal. And that's the reason why you can burn these. But for us, the lignin is a problem because it's, it's the polymer which gets in the way of getting the sugars. So a lot of the research which is going on is how can we break down the cell wall in a way that releases the sugars and allows us to make the fuel. So we're starting to screen through the willows and asking, you know, if we put through a test where you try to make sugars out of willow, can we identify some which are better at doing that than others? We're also beginning to understand where does the plant put its sugars? You know, it, it creates sugar by photosynthesis. And can we understand how it makes the cell wall from those sugars? Can we try to select plants which make the cell wall in a way that's more easy to break down? So it's still resistant, it still keeps off water, but it's easier for us to break it down. 